Hello friends and welcome back to Seven Days to Die with your host Rongo the Bold. You know what just struck me? As the moon was going down I'm watching the zombies walk around outside. It just struck me it's day seven. So tonight I'm going to be getting a feral horde in a brand new hovel. I think I'm going to end, the, end up spending the night on the roof um, and just hoping that I survive the zombies. Crap. Oh well, you know, that's what it keeps life interesting. Let's go ahead and check the roof and see what we got going on up here. Anything? Really? A, a nest. With nothing in it, and moldy backpack with practically nothing in it. And our ever trusty air conditioner with stuff. Alright. So, um, I was, the, you know, my initial plan was that I was going to loot today uh, until I realized that uh, we've got no time for lootings. So I'm thinking we put a layer of defense here. Um, we got the front is already kind of blocked off. Good. Well, uh, we can probably put, maybe we put some spikes, uh, I don't want to put spikes in because we can't move them. Um, we definitely need more wood, so I'm going to do a quick bit of tree bashing downing. Let's loot. Oh, hello, piggy. Oh, wait. No, piggy. Are you going to die? All right. I keep hoping for like an awesome auger or something. A nail gun would be really handy. My early morning ritual of zombie bashing. You know, when they do get uh, vehicles added in the game, I really hope that they have multiplayer vehicles where one person can stand in the back of like a pickup truck and other people, you know, one person drives, and that person in the back can just be out there with the, with the sledgehammer just bashing zombies in the head as he goes by. That would be epic. Alright, what we got going on here? Let me get these guys out of here because I shall deal with them now. Oh, it's a darn too. Hello, Ness. I'm up to 98 wellness, which is awesome. Uh, the ham and eggs, you know, you get one ham and eggs gives you a wellness point. So really, really good to eat. Um, and the best part here, you get corn. So we basically have all our plantable crops already. We've got a potato, we've got uh, berries, We've got corn and we've got coffee. So we're going to be able to have a nice farm as well. They really need to adjust the uh, tree falling down sound. It's so loud. Keep all these seeds too so we plant our own little tree farm. So tomorrow in game day, um, I'm going to go out and find, um, you know, start exploring the area. I'm not going to, uh, well, my, what I may do is I'll, I'll explore one day, come back, loot buildings, and go explore another day. Uh, just get a sense of where we live. Get a f lay of the land, as I speak, as I say, so to speak. Mixing my metaphors. Uh, let's take that. Oh, oh freaking deer. You want to be killed, don't you? Did I miss it? I should get a sneak attack bonus. Yep. Might as well take it, right? I'll take it. I need a leather and uh, animal fat. Anyway, so I got rid of all my animal fat. 
So this, it's a, it's a four, 20 meter. Oh, and we got to get rid of that because that is going to drive the zombies insane. And I cannot, oh, it's just the vilest of sounds. All right, let's go over here. Uh, my axe is starting to wear out a bit. So I don't want to go too long chopping trees. Run back to the house, use up one of our ingots, um, and craft it down to metal strips so that we can repair this axe. Do not want to break it. We want to get enough wood though so we can uh, build up some good defenses. I'd like to put out some spikes on the front of the building. That might help. Let's get this pig. That pig right there. There we go. Got him. Over there. Excellent. We got bird's nest as well. Made some eggs? No. Bird's nest and this dot biome seem to be a little on the stingy side so far. I think I've got uh, I've got some more eggs left. I know that, so that will be okay. Just had a little bit of a slowdown in my frames there a second there. Oh, we got thirty frames a second. What happened? Something just uh, something just slowed me down. It's probably these seven hundred zombies that just spawned. Take down a couple more trees. Bear with me here. And then we will start making some defenses. Hey, zombie. I'll get you in a second. Do you want a crossbow or a blow to the head? Oh. Okay, good. I thought I heard another set of footsteps. Alright, let's get back to the house. And... Oh, I'll take you, piggy. That sneak bonus is making hunting a little... Almost too easy now. I mean, I won't complain. Because... I used to be chasing these pigs. You could chase them for half a day. All right, how are we doing? We're doing good. We're doing good. All right. One thing I want to do really quickly is run around here and see, check all the other cars, because if I can find a um, nail gun in one of the cars, that would be awesome. I think this will give us, I mean, we've got layers of defense, uh, layers of walls and stuff for them to, have to get through. So I'm not too worried, I guess, about that. Okay. Let's go check. Let's go check for cars. And then, let's see, it's 1020. We're still okay on time. We might pick up more rocks so we can get more crossbow bolts ready. Um... So what the plan will be is that I will record through the night, um, and if if nothing happens, then obviously you guys won't see it. But if I do get a feral horde, I will definitely share it with you guys because feral hordes are always so fun. Uh, check the mail. Here we got something from Publishers Clearinghouse. Nope. Nelga, 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 Nelga. Over here. Nelgan, 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 Nelgan. Those were not nail guns. So, not there, not there. 
No, no, uh, is that car a car? Is this a shell? It's a shell of a car. No cars on those, I don't believe. We'll double check. Pardon me, miss. Now, I don't think it matters um, in here if we if we clear them out or not. I don't think I think that either way you'll get still get a feral heart with the same strength. So I'm not. I do want to start collecting sham sandwiches. I was just thinking that uh, I saw a sham sandwich and it made me think of potassium nitrate. I think it might be good to if we can find a nice open plains area that's kind of near an exposed exposed cliff face. So that we can easily find, um, we could easily find uh, the ores that we need. Might be good. Now I have read that the Plains biome was the least optimized as far as frame rates go, and I believe it. I mean, I'm definitely getting frame rates that are not as well. We're getting 50 there, so it's not too bad. Um, but if you think about it, all this grass is moving. And my view distance is set out pretty far, um, so we are getting a lot of a lot of detail in the game. All right, come on. Just not getting any eggs. Let's open the eggs. Come on, more eggs. You're not eggs. <gasps> Backpack. Wooden club. A wooden one wooden club. All right, let's kill a uh, Bloombasaurus over here. Oh, there's a bag there too. Yep, I don't understand why those guys always. Oh, it was not. I thought it was a bag. I don't understand why those guys always have flashlights. Or I mean, a really high chance of getting a flashlight. All right. Well, you can head the flashlights. Let's take the brass, get all the brass crafted down. So you can, you know, mash all the things that are the same kind of thing in, and it'll convert them all at one time. So that's nice. Um, all right, beautiful. All right, I want to look around a little bit more. Um, I wouldn't mind getting some more rocks um, and more crossbow bolts. Just so that we can have enough for tonight. And then we will start start looking for our new home. Let's go for these guys. There's so much corn. It's ridiculous. I mean I, I, I like the fact that we're gonna be able to have a nice a nice farm. And I'm gonna lay out a really nice farm this time. Um, nice big farm. Okay. All right, that is on that heading. Oh my goodness, it's almost like right toward the other one. You know what? It's, it's, it's like right over the other one. That's awesome. Okay. I'm feeling really good that that might be an area we want to build. <laughs> what do you guys think? It seems to be an omen. They keep dropping supply crates right there. Hello, McFatterson. Oh, I just, I still don't like scooping the fat out of those guys. Lurch. Miss. Grandpa. Don't want the bone from Grandpa. These girls have ha really had a lot of work done. It really stands up well under the uh, blistering heat of the savanna here. Ugh. Keep the rotting flesh. Alright, let's go ahead. Um, oh, my axe is not doing great. Let's just let's take a peek in here because, you know, why not? Nothing. Can of water.
It'd be cool if they put a box up there. I know I've said that before, but I always keep looking just because I hope. Now, I'm tempted um, for the next playthrough, which I will be doing for uh, Season 3. I will do probably when when 10.5 drops. We're hoping that 10.5 will drop before Christmas. And there is a, a prefab pack. Basically, it's a whole bunch of other uh, user-built uh, buildings. And I'm tempted to go ahead and include them. Uh, basically, it's just a, you know, like I said, a whole bunch of stuff that you can that are built by users. Uh, I never submitted mine to to be added in any of those packs, uh, or actually even made it public. I just kept them for myself. But um, it would really add a lot more variety to the game. And there's a bunch of them that can be included in these little townships, so they would actually you know just kind of spice the game up a little bit. So let me, let me I guess let me know what you guys think about that. Should we? Should we venture out into unexplored, user-generated content? A little variety would, would actually be kind of nice, because, you know, I looted the same house many, many times. I wasn't going to loot today. Today was a non-looting day. Let's get oh, God, coffee. Awesome. I keep going on a roll of looting and the next thing I know we've all looted up. So that's it. One story boring house. No attic in it. Nope. Oh piggy. What? I totally hit that pig. All right, so we got we got plenty of food now. The deer plus this. So food wise, I think we're in good shape. So what I'm gonna do? Let's run back to the house. And um, let's put down some spikes. Let's kill this guy because he's all angry with us now because we have we have food and he doesn't. Yeah, Spike Club, definitely better uh, crit chance than the um, Barbed Club. Which, you know, it should be a difference because literally Spike Club uh, is four iron ingots to make versus the Barbed Club, which is one iron fragment or one iron uh, scrap iron. So it should take you a lot more to make it. Or it should be more viable. Back in the olden days, uh, it used to be, um, I think it was like one iron sp iron scrap for the barbed and two iron scrap, or f you know, four, just four iron four iron scrap for um, the spike club. So it was very low low cost difference, and I think everyone kind of. Well, it was like, well, why is there a, you know, why is there a difference? Why is it like that? Why is it so easy? All right, um, let's. That's enough out of our inventory now. So we eat a little bit of food. Um, I did grab rocks, right? Uh, Twenty-two rocks. Okay, let's make a campfire really quick. I want to do this now versus at night. Um, and I want to make some food up really quick. I'm going to put this uh, here is fine. And grab our grill and eggs. So we've got enough for seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay. Grab these planks. Okay. Grill on. Ham on. Leave one egg behind. Minute and ten. Okay. Now I think the way that works, that was just seven times. I, was, I think it was just fourteen percent heat that I just added to the game, to this area, uh, because it's uh, the way it, it, 
appears to be working is it's two percent per item that you put in. So it gets a little scary-ish. Alright, got that, got that. Um, put our book away, paper away. Uh, let's put that away. Let's put an Oops. Put animal fat down there. And our maple seeds, because we're going to use those. Alright. Oh, we seriously need to fix our axe before it goes owie. So, ingot. Ingot to forged. Forged to pipe. Pipe to metal strips. Actually, this is probably going to take almost all of it, so let's go ahead and do that. Yep. And for the rest with that. Okay. And the Spiky Club needs needs uh, five. One, two, three, four, five. I know because each, each one of these uh, repairs ten, and the Spike Club durability right now is 140 out of, 143 out of 200. I could go ahead and do six and do the you know, be a fully back, but that kind of wastes one. So, or just keep it like that. Okay, our ham and eggs are ready. Awesome. Ham and eggs are awesome. Okay, so let's go ahead now and let's do a little bit of defense. All we can do for today. It's not going to be a lot, but um, I think we'll build... Let's put a wall. Uh, let's put a door here. Secure wooden door is just eight pieces of wood, so it's pretty cheap and easy. Uh, you do have to have um, fully uh, upgraded frames in order to make. Uh, or in order for the door to uh, fix itself, which makes sense. You gotta have something for it to grab onto. I'm gonna upgrade these two fully, or at least that fully. It comes up by default rotated the wrong way, so you always want to left click and rotate it the way you want it to be. I'll put it on this side, and then we'll upgrade it as well. And I'll make it into this iron. Okay, so we'll have that there. Um, not too worried about that, but what I'll do on the front side, um, just to slow him down and hurt him a little bit, I'm going to take, we'll make this many, there we go, five, five, six, six. We'll make 24. Not a lot. It's not a lot of spikes, but hey, at this point, I think I'll take anything I can get. So let's put some spikes here. Make it a little tough for them to get in at me. Um, and then we'll put them here, here, and here as well. And then let's put them at the front, because they seem to go for what were entrances. So let's go ahead and just fill... Ouch, a little too close. Fill that up. And let's put some. Because we got them. Might as well use them, right? Now, um, let's see. Yeah, I thought I already searched you. Uh, let's see, what else what else can we really do? Not a whole lot. A whole lot of defense that we can do right now. Oh, the other thing we can, I guess we could do, is those windows, the uh, spiders are going to come for them. So let's go ahead and, yeah, we're going to put two sets of frames just to slow them down that much more. Not worried about that. They're not going to go back out tonight, so I'll just pick that up. Um,. Well, it, we should only get spiders here, so what I'll do is I'll put those there, 
That'll stop the spiders from get climbing up, hopefully. We have a door here, so that's good. Now, these, uh, the spiders could try to come through. So I'll knock all of these windows out. I like how the ones that are all the way broken just fall, just basically fall apart. Okay. Five o'clock, we're doing good. We got plenty of time. Not worried yet. Twenty-five minutes in, we'll have the our base kind of done. Or you know, for now at least. Come on. Because the spiders will climb up the side and break in through these, so you always want to make sure you do upgrade these or replace these windows because they're just so easy for the spiders to take out and then all of a sudden you've got a spider zombie when you didn't think you'd have one. Yeah, some of these are like totally easy to break through. Other ones, not so. Let's craft those into frames. We need some more frames. Make all of them into frames, and then I'll make another half into planks and upgrade for upgrades. Oops. It's on here. Okay. One. We'll do it kind of each side, upgrade it, and hope that we'll be good enough defended for this first horde. Hopefully we won't get any cops, minimal dogs, I keep forgetting that I've got my flashlight helmet, which I love. I love getting the mining helmet. It's awesome. Okay, got those. So the other windows are all up here. I'll go ahead and collect this cloth while I'm at it. You never know when you're going to need cloth. Oh man, it's eight blocks. Eight blocks per. That's quite a bit. I don't have enough right now. I need to make some more. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to kind of read through um, other games I have to see if you guys are interested in me doing um, Let's Play of one of those as well. Okay, this is kind of a boring bit. So I've got Banished, which is a uh, RTS real-time strategy style and, uh, uh, kind of feudal society simulator where you start off as a little pack of people and you have a tech tree build up, have traders, all that kind of stuff. And build a build a city and you know all your all your regular kind of real time strategy game stuff. It's, it's a fun game. Um, games I'm, I'm also gonna point out games that I think you guys would not be interested in, like Car Mechanic Simulator twenty fourteen. It's actually an interesting game. Uh, Daisy, not going to play it. Hate it, hate it, hate it. I like the game. I hate the griefers. Uh, Dead State. Um, that is a, another zombie game, but it's kind of a uh, um, uh, isometric and a little bit of story-based, and it's... Um, how to describe it? Uh, you you play as you have, you have character. You try to find other characters. You can switch between people. You give people orders. Do things. It's interesting. It's an interesting game. Uh, but another zombie isometric. Um, Democracy three. 
where you take control of the government and set all the policies and stuff, it's fun to turn America, the United States, into like a theocracy or to try to turn Sweden into, uh, you know, a caliphate or something like that. See how fast you'd be assassinated by various groups. Uh, let's put these in. I have a bit. I'm not going to worry about upgrading them. Spiders generally have a hard time when they're, when they're climbing the walls of doing that much damage, so we'll see. If they start hitting on them, I can always upgrade them while they're here. Okay, need more. At least. Well, let's just go ahead and. I want to keep a couple logs just for miscellaneous, you know, you never know moments. It's 19 o'clock, 7 o'clock. It's getting close, getting close, folks. Oh, I don't have enough wood. I don't have enough wood for all that, so I'm going to have to hope that this is good enough. All right, well, I'm going to call the episode here. And like I said, I'm going to go ahead and record through the night. Um, when the zombie horde arrives, I will bring you guys back into it. I hope you enjoyed this episode. Uh, it's been Rongo the Bold as your entertainer for the day. Um, if you liked it, click that like button. Leave comments. Uh, like I've said before, we're getting a really fun um, comment community. A lot of active people so please let's make this fun uh, I truly try to read I, I definitely read and I try to respond to pretty much all comments um, so I uh, if you leave me a comment now become part of the inner circle and then when I grow to you know 700 million people following me then you guys will be the first in the inner circle anyway <laughs> leave a comment like subscribe tell your friends family and your grandma and I will talk to you guys when the horde appears.